Good morning, everyone. Good to see you, Tim. Tim, Grant, Marcelo, Phil, welcome back. All right, so uh, let's uh, kind of cover what's going on, uh, what happened yesterday. We had a great, great day. Uh, actually, I probably thought yesterday was probably the best day of the week out of all the trading days. We had a lot of great movers. A lot of good, uh, a lot of stocks had traded, and you know what? There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff moving for a Friday morning too. So listen, I'm just happy that we got past the holiday season. Now we're getting to the thick of things, like I told you, and um, you know this is where you're going to start learning how to make money. Now listen, I know we have a lot of new students that are, that had just became cyber traders. Um, I know we have a lot of trial members here too. We have a lot of you are probably watching on Facebook and and uh, Facebook Live and and YouTube Live. Just please keep in mind, everyone, that. You know, there were a lot of stocks that were very, very volatile. There were ones that were quite slow, you know. And, um, you know, so please keep in mind that some people look at it and like, oh, I, I want to do this. I thought it was too fast. It's really not too fast. You know, the, there are all different levels of stocks that we trade. And it all depends on where you fit in that category. And don't worry, you'll get there. But listen, there were a couple of really nice ones on, on Thursday I want to cover. And then we're going to go through this really long watch list that we have. First of all, let me start off with the AGTC trade. You bring that up right there. Now, this stock right here, let me just uh, change the intraday chart so you guys can see a little better. So anyway, oh, you got to go back even further than that. Let me do a four minute. So anyway, you can see that stock had a great run from $6 all the way to $9. I had another afternoon run up. I mean, that thing was just literally a great, great winner. Huge winner. Look at that chart right there. It had a nice gap up from four, almost went to, you can see almost hit 10. You're talking about almost a 100% mover right there. Another stock that we had a good move is LK. That thing is just, was everywhere. That thing just popped out of nowhere. Huge winner. And remember what I keep telling everybody. Listen, there's a lot of you out there that are so anti or hear bad things about day trading. Listen, so that's why you guys swing trade. And that's why you're like, well, let me try options. Listen, you got to learn how to day trade first if you want to be a good swing trader or an investor. And you can see from here, the stock, we've been watching it. Back in um, November, the stock was $20. We talked about it and we, we saw it. A lot of us got it on a swing trade and look where it is today. Boom, more than a double. Now, listen, we get doubles over the course of the day on day trades, but you know what? You could do it on a swing trade, even in the last two days, even if you chased it when it was at 34, look where the thing went to. So another big mover. BBBY, now everybody wants to trade, you know, brand name stocks. Okay, you know what? Go knock yourself out. Have a good day. Um, but look how this, how, how does this work working out? Great short, boom, right off the bat. But look at the shakes it had. This thing was doing shakes almost 50 cents, a dollar at a time. So listen, it wasn't, there was a lot better stocks out there to trade than that one. LJPC. Nice little mover right there also. Nice little push, nice little trend. Stock took a big hit. Once that stock broke the gap fill, this thing just literally took off. This is probably one of our best winners in the middle of the day. Um, you can see it just went from 420 all the way to almost 540. Another big mover. And last but not least, and this is a stock I'm a little disappointed on, is on the swing trade, is I, okay? Now, I saw some prints coming in. Um, I saw this thing up to, oh, you could see it went to 840. I'm like, oh my God, I'm killing it. 840 on a swing trade. Now this stock, the reason why I love bottom fishing and you know that there's a lot of stocks that we've traded, uh, on the bottom fish. And, uh, let me see. I had a couple of them here that, which ones that we have right here. But anyway, uh, let me just bring this up right here. There we go. All right, so this one, you could see how it just dropped from like $26 all the way down to about six. And it's been having a really, really nice trend the last couple of days. Uh, yesterday, it's a little slow, but you know what? I'm like, you know what? This is like, this reminds me of some of the other stocks that we traded. Uh, I'll bring some of them up. Remember the, um, I still have the, the swing trade on this one, but the, the QGEN, remember this one right here? This stock, you know, this is a great swing trade. $42 dropped down to 30. A lot of us made a killing on it. And once it became a, a you know, once it became a, a day trade, it was great on the day trade. You know, I made it into a swing trade. So I'm doing pretty well. I mean, I still have that stock at $29.85. That one. Uh what else I had? Oh, the APA. Oh, that's that's a that's that's a a stock that's just breaking higher highs. You know, once that stock did a gap fill, that one did pretty well. And a 
uh, ATRL, that also. Once they become a day trade, boom, look at that. You become a swing trade. You wake up one morning like, oh, stock's going up nicely, nicely, and boom, you get one of these. So looks like it's come back. The TRIL, by the way, is pretty damn volatile, so be careful of that. All right, so let's go through what's going on for today because there are a couple of stocks that we want to keep an eye on. We got the I on there, the SRNE. Here's another one that made the radar. The stock is gapped up, just basically took off. Went from like 30, 60, all the way up to about 580. I don't know what happened. She's backing off right here. She's still up 56.7 million shares traded. Crap, that's a lot of shares right now. Great spread, great movement. It looks like it's gonna be pretty volatile, so be careful of it. But I'm gonna give it a level two category, uh, as in uh, as the trading that uh, in, a, in a, you know as trading uh, volatility goes. Not gonna be a level one, all right. So please don't let these dollars, don't let anything under ten dollars fool you. Like oh, it's cheap. I could, you know, it's not it's not tra trading, you know, uh, uh, aim you know aim at or you know. Uh, AMG or Tesla or Facebook, but listen, it can get pretty volatile. We've seen that. Here's another one that's also, I don't know, it's kind of like another penny stock. Not really crazy about it. We do, once in a while, they do pop up, and it's always a second protocol, but this stock is up pretty big this morning. AZRX is another one right here. This one looks a little bit better. You can see it's building a little bit of a Fausto flag. It's got a nice little trend up. It gapped up pretty decent. Uh, it pro it's testing some resistance levels. You can see it at a buck 80. You already got a 6,000 share seller sitting out there on level on level three at buck 90. So we kind of already know we see the telltale window on that one. Uh, the TRIL, we're going to keep back on there. The ANTE is another one that we found. That one also gapping up a little bit. Nice little trend, making higher highs. NASDAQ national stock. You got you can see you got some good tier sizes, good volume. Big buyer at 6,000 at a buck uh, 29. Exactly what we're looking for. That one also looks pretty good. What else I got on my list? PTLA is another one. Is um, making the big, uh, getting in the crush mode. I love this. This is awesome. Actually, I feel bad for the company and, and, and the shareholders. But look at this thing. Talking about a pharmaceutical stock not doing too well. 24 down to 14. And guess what? It's making lower lows. Not a good sign. Okay? So, you know I'm a bottom fisher, but you know that when it comes to pharmaceutical stocks i told you they don't come back uh ken says lk is dropping yeah just remember with the lk trade we all know that that stock is pretty volatile too but uh it's you know it's it's starting to become a little bit more of a day trade than more of a, a more of a swing trade more of a day trade but yeah she's she dropping she, i mean this thing is just this is like a category four so guys some of you've been here you see some of these stocks we traded, just be very careful because a lot of you really are not qualified to trade these stocks. So try to stick with the level one, level two if you are a beginner. But yeah, we got that one on the watch list too. Uh, is that all of them? I know you guys have been also keeping an eye on the SABA trade right there. That one has been treating us unbelievably. Uh, she, she trended down. She gapped up this morning. She's trending down. I mean, she's pretty volatile, this stock right here. You remember the stock was a swing trade. We traded it was at $2, went to 10 up about 500%. But um, just be careful. She's I don't, I'm not too crazy about the way she's, uh, she's cooperating. And one stock, I just want to leave this off, just teach you a quick little lesson about NAKD. Okay, so NAKD, I'm just going to bring this up, is not doing too well. Okay, it did a reverse stock split, and the thing is just getting crushed. Okay, so you can see the stock was at 25 they did a reverse stock split. It ran down again. I mean, this is really, really not doing too well. You know, unfortunately, a lot of ex some execution systems don't really show you that. But if I bring you on a different platform, NAKD, you could just see right here. This is what I mean by short squeeze. So you can see a stock literally was down. A uh, stock was trading at, I don't know, 0.2 cents. They did probably a 200 to 1 stock split. It went to $2 and has been trending down. Not a really good sign. When they do reverse stocks, look sky, especially that high. But you know, for them to stay public, they got to make it. You know, they got to do something with it. But not looking too good for naked. All right, so be very careful of it. But it is Nasdaq National because I'm getting some points on there. All right, guys. So um, we got a pretty decent list for Friday. Remember, be very careful on Fridays because people like to not hold stocks over the weekend, and uh, so usually we find a little bit more volatility when the market opens up. So we'll wait until then. You got about 10 minutes before the market opens up. And uh, listen, 
Obviously, not all of them are going to move. Probably all we need is about two or three of them. And hopefully everybody can capture one of them. Listen, don't be a deer in the headlights. If you haven't bought anything, hit the button. I always have a lingo. Just buy one share of stock. If you don't buy one share, how else are you going to learn? All right, guys, got to be in, in, in it to win it. Demo is not going to make you money, and it's not realistic. All right. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And uh, we'll be starting commentating in the next uh, 10 minutes, all right? And then we'll see you back at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting to trade the close. Good luck, everyone. Happy trade, buddy.